What is up guys, Dirk here and Bitcoin is almost back at $30,000. We have seen an insane pump the last few days and if I can say it was exactly as predicted. A couple days ago before this breakout, I made this video. So if you've been following on the channel, you would have seen that. And before that, I actually shared the perfect long trade setup in real time, not only in my VIP members area discord, but also here on the channel. So if you guys got in that, if you followed along, you could have had an almost $4,000 move to the upside with a leveraged long position. That one is absolutely great. But let me play for you for a second what I said in the last video, and then I will share my thoughts on what has just happened. So this is the video that was made two days ago. You can see over here on June 18th, and you can see this is the wedge that I was talking about before the breakout. So let's see what I said there, and then let's get back into the chart. Indicator to keep an eye on this moving average, three day 50 moving average. As long as we're above there, as long as it's holding, as long as we don't get two consecutive closes back below it, it's still looking good for the bulls potentially. And once this breaks up, I mean, we are looking at uh, probably taking out these highs and then these highs over here. So we're probably looking at 32,000 if we can get a successful breakout. So you can see when I made this, this was at 26,400. The trade before that even, we got in at 25.3, around about over there. So that was even lower. But even in the previous video here, at 26.3. Now you can see we're at 29.5. This is the exact same chart over here, the same wedge same three day 50 moving average and you can see we got that breakout and we just rocketed higher so like you just saw on the recap is that if we get a successful breakout the target is most likely the high over here 31k and then the high that we haven't taken out yet 32,000 32,500 and it is possible that it actually might just continue to run um, without much of a pullback in the same way that it did over here you can see we had this the scary retest over here and it just rocketed up and everyone who's waiting for more pullback, they didn't get it all the way up. It just went up in one direction. You can see over here from a 19.5, it basically went all the way up to 30K without any significant real pullback. So anyone who was left behind, you know, who was waiting for a deeper pullback, they didn't get that. And then they probably FOMO'd in at the top. And then obviously we got the pullback. So you can see very similar situation here. We got this uh, almost two month decline in this wedge. And once again, the 50 moving average here on three day is just such a good bear or bull indicator and the most optimal time to buy or to sell. But in this case, we're in a bullish trend. So the most optimal time to buy is right at the retest of that three day 50 moving average because there is a very clear and, and clean invalidation. If you buy here, you long here, if we get uh, closes below it, it's invalidated and it could continue lower. But because it's so important, if you long here, tight invalidation, the upside is huge, right? Same thing here. And again, my rule here is you need two consecutive closes above or below to confirm a trend change. So we get these fake outs sometimes, like over here, but you can see there's no two consecutive candle closes above it, meaning there's no confirmation of trend signal. So shorting here, it gives very tight invalidation if wrong and huge uh, downside when right. So for a short, perfect. Same thing over here. We got one close above, but we didn't get the second and it just dumped over there again. Perfect risk reward setup over there. Same thing here, but to the upside, if you longed, on a retest here with a tight invalidation if it went lower, big upside. Same thing here. And this one we caught in real time. I shared it with you on the channel perfectly um, at about 25.3. Perfect, perfect, perfect long. And while I shared that on the channel, also in the VIP Discord, I continue to update that. I shared my own uh, movements around that and how it's still possible to hold it as a runner in case we go to 30K or higher and you can see the results. So if you want my step-by-step uh, -step plays and trade ideas in Discord, click the link in the description down below. You'll be able to join us. There's more than 2,000 members in VIP Discord, and I basically share my insights daily and my updates and my own trade setup. So if you want that, click the link down below. So what next? Okay, so we got this breakout. This is, in my opinion, more than a squeeze. This is not likely some fake pump that just squeezes everyone up and comes all the way back down. Now, of course, everything is possible, but 
that is not the likely scenario. The likely scenario is we are still in a bullish trend, which we have been since the beginning of this year, making higher highs, uh, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, and now we should be on track to take out this high and potentially uh, this high over here, which has been a target for quite a while. And then what we have after that is we have the CME gap at around about 35,000. That could be the next target. And what we also have, if this is really the bullish continuation, is we have the Fibonacci golden pocket of this entire move, which coincides with this high too, which you can see is somewhere around $48,000. Now, that is still quite a way up from here, but you can see once Bitcoin gets going and it really gets going, it can move thousands and thousands of dollars in a relatively short period of time. We've seen it time and again. So you can see over here, it had a huge move to the upside. This was obviously the bull market, but maybe this is a start of a bull market. Again, keep in mind, we do have the next Bitcoin halving that is happening in April of 2024. It is not impossible that this gets front run and that we actually start getting a bull market sooner than what most people expect only after the halving. So anything is really possible here, but so far things are still looking bullish. And as long as we stay above this three day 50 moving average, the trend is bullish in my opinion, and the trend is your friend until the end. So for now, um, as long as this is bullish, we have targets up ahead, 32.5, 35, and potentially 48,000 uh, later this year. That is still completely a possibility. You can see even here, Right, it went from 29.5, right about where we are now. It went all the way up to 52. You can see how quickly that went. That went from July to September. In a matter of two months, it went from the same level where we are now to 52,000. So it is possible that literally in a few months, we could be seeing this $48,000 level. Um, and fingers crossed, guys, it looks very promising. This bounce off the three-day 50 moving average looks fantastic. So I hope you are positioned. I hope you are taking advantage of this. I hope you are subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done so, do it now. Leave a comment below with your thoughts. Smash the like button. If you haven't joined my VIP, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description down below. Sign up. There's over 2,000 members in Discord. You get access to me personally, directly every single day. I share my insights. I share my trade ideas. And there's a 60-day money-back guarantee. So if you want to take advantage of this bull market, and get the best chance of success, join us in VIP. Because if we do front run this next bull market and we are here in the start of a, a run to 50K or more, it's gonna get very, very interesting and there's gonna be a ton of opportunity also with altcoins, which are still ridiculously cheap. I will make a video about that later on in this week. So thanks for watching guys, smash that like button, sign up to VIP if you haven't done so already. I will see you in the next video.